You might have similar experience that when you are playing huge 3D video games or working on large-scale simulations, the graphic card of the computer can easily get overheated. In fact, temperature increase will cause distortion of the graphic card and bring you some trouble. Engineers in graphic card industry need to test and verify the behavior of their products under high temperature before setting them on market. Here, a model is built for the analysis of thermal deformation for a GPU board. In this case, the GPU board is fixed at the slot area where it is attached to the computer case. Two thermal conditions are added to the board. One is 40 Celsius degree for the majority of the electric components. The other one is for the piece under the heat sink. This one is with higher temperature, 88 Celsius degree. The reference temperature of the problem is 22 degree. There are three different materials for this GPU board, and they have different coefficient of thermal expansion. We use aluminum alloy for the slot part and the heat sink. We use polyethylene for the board, and we use silicon for electric components. Especially for silicon, to include different thermal expansion behaviors at different temperatures, the CTE of it changes with temperature in this analysis, as shown in this table in the curve. Since there are boundary conditions and there are different CTE for different parts, it is not a free expansion problem. We expect thermal strain, elastic strain, and stress over the body. From the result, you see that the thermal strain is confined in the parts where the thermal conditions are applied. Here, temperature is a given condition. It will not spread to other parts that connect it to the applied components. Note that, in real life, temperature does spread by different ways to close-by parts. To solve for temperature, we need to solve thermal equilibrium. But in this course, we focus on force equilibrium of solid mechanics. For elastic strain and stress, these two terms are directly related to each other by elasticity. Because the thermal expansion is constrained for this problem, we can see elastic strain and stress developing over the entire body. Another interesting application we want to discuss is the railway buckling caused by thermal condition. Heat from the sun in summer can make rails expand since they are made of steel, and steel does has comparatively high coefficient of thermal expansion. Besides, high-speed train passing on the rail may also cause overheating. Because of the high temperature, some segments of the rail buckle severely and can result in bad accident or traffic delays. We know that rails are fixed on the ground section by section. The high temperature will cause high compression stress inside some segments. You can deem railway segments as long beams and such high compression eventually will lead to buckling of the segments. Here, a simple model is built to analyze the behavior of a segment of rails under the thermal condition and predict the buckling behavior of it. When buckling occurs, the intermediate connections to the ground are usually not in function. Let's ignore the effect of these intermediate connections and assume that the two ends of the rail with certain lengths are fixed. The rail is heated from 22 Celsius degree to 60 degree over the entire body. The material used for the rail is elastic structural steel, whose coefficient of thermal expansion equals to 1.2 times 10 to minus 5 inverse Celsius degree. After the problem gets solved, you will find that there is uniform stress in the rail. But there will be no deformation or strain in actual direction, because the two ends are fixed. In actual direction, the rail cannot deform. This actually means the structure is in extremely unstable condition. It is similar to the case when you compress hard on a long bar fixed on the ground. Before it snaps, there is not much deformation, but the inside stress is high. Now, a very small disturb will cause the rail segment to buckle. With the internal stress caused by the thermal condition, we can conduct an eigenvalue buckling analysis to predict the deformation pattern of the rail segment. The deformation pattern obtained here is unitless. It's a deformation mode instead of absolute deformation value. 
The buckling mode prevents the shape of the structure when it buckles in a particular mode. The theory of buckling and eigenvalue buckling analysis will be discussed in detail in later course of this MOOC series. Here, we're just giving you a preview of it and use it to illustrate the concept of thermal deformation.